Right. Um, welcome to the uh, Monks Academy, an educational channel where we explore the realms of decentralized finance so you can take charge of your financial future. A project powered by the Ohm Monks for the Ohm Finance community. Uh, today, I'm really excited to have fellow Ohm Monk uh, Stephen, uh, who will be talking about uh, yield farming strategies for the Ohm community. Uh, so we, we really wanted to put this learning session together because the community was was concerned about the yield dropping, uh, but this was always going to be the case. So, but but we thought you know we it was important to show uh, you know how how show things that a Ohm user could do to maximize yields, not just in Ohm but also utilizing balanced. Uh, so Stephen was talking about you know maximizing Ohm uh, balanced uh, and combining the two strategies. And also, he'll be talking about the the new CFT token uh, that was launched uh, on Craft, uh, the the Craft uh, token that was launched a uh, short while uh, ago today. Mm, so yeah, so we will we've been covering all these strategies and 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 things to look out for to maximize your strategy. So, uh, Stephen, uh, over to you. All right. Thank you for the intro. Um, I will start with sharing my screen so I can show uh, a few things. Let's see. Let me know when you can see it. Uh, yeah. Is it uh, visible <coughs> for you guys? Yeah. Are you still there, guys? Yeah. It's visible? All right. Good. So, yeah. Um, so... Like uh, Arush uh, was telling in the intro, I will be covering uh, the strategies on, on balanced ohm uh, and then also the, the strategies which require both balanced and, uh, and ohm. Also give an intro about uh, Optimus, uh, the information that we know already. And today uh, the CFT token from Croft, uh, the governance token launched today. And um, there is also a liquidity pool available on Balanced as from today. So we'll also take a brief look at that. So, of course, uh, many people have been uh, involved from the start, uh, both on Balanced and Ohm. So uh, the strategies will uh, already be known by, by, by many. But uh, I also will try to, to share something new, maybe, uh, if maybe you, you, you have not yet paid attention to it, uh, some co considerations when you are applying these strategies. So um, let's go to, I didn't log into Balanced, uh, it doesn't, uh, it's, it's not really required, but for Balanced, let's start uh, with the borrow strategy. So um, you borrow BNUSD by depositing ICX as collateral. Currently, uh, you are paying 1.15% origination fee to do that, and there is no, uh, no interest. So um, just the origination fee. And the rewards that you are getting back is bond rewards. Um, currently, the, there is an APY of 25.9%, uh, I believe, uh, last time I checked, on borrowing those. Now, uh, the considerations that you have to, uh, to make when, when, when borrowing is um, how do you determine the optimal frequency of increasing or decreasing your debt? In times of volatility, when uh, ICX price moves up and down with large percentages, it can be very expensive paying 1.15% origination fees relative to the value of the additional daily bond you are getting. It might take several days of the increased bond rewards uh, you get by increasing your loan to make up for the, the paid origination fees. And one day later, in times of volatility, volatility, um, we might already have to reduce the loan again and then you will end up with a net negative result. So that's something that you need to uh, uh, pay attention to. Another uh, consideration you have to make when you are uh, doing the borrow strategy is the rebalancing. Um, people um, still not sure. And many people uh, looking at some some of the the, the replies in the, in the, the balanced uh, chat room um, still don't really understand the rebalancing how it works. Uh, but of course, it's it's important to keep uh, the BNUSD close to its one dollar peg. Uh, to do that, 
um, SICX uh, collateral uh, of uh, the borrowers gets sold and your BNUSD debt is being paid off. Now, with a bot, uh, of, without a bot, it's not easy to buy back the ICX at lower prices. Um, but of course, if you want to cancel out that effect, uh, this is exactly uh, what you need to be doing. Um, try to buy back your ICX uh, at those lower prices because normally uh, that is possible uh, because it's sold at a premium. Um, and also uh, something interesting, uh, Scott recently shared uh, a tweet about it, that uh, doing liqu providing liquidity in the SICX B BNUSD pool can counter the rebalancing effects. Um, so this is also something that you might want to uh, uh, look into if you're worried about the rebalancing effects on your strategy. Then um, the next strategy for balanced is the liquidity pools. So for the liquidity pools, you will also be getting bond rewards. And what you can see here on the screens, these are the, the current uh, APYs. Uh, as you can see, as with most uh, liquidity pools, those with the, the highest risk of impermanent loss uh, have the highest rewards uh, because most of the time um, the people choose uh, the safest strategies and this means that the, yeah, the rewards uh, per person will be lower. Um, as you can see, one of the, the ones that uh, have the highest APY at the moment is the Balm PNUSD um, because yeah, it's a stable coin versus uh, a volatile asset. Uh, when you are providing uh, uh, liquidity for assets which correlate well, like for example uh, BAL and SICX, there is less risk of uh, impermanent loss. The risk is of course always there, but the impact is, is, is lower. And of course, uh, the SICX, ICX uh, pool, yeah, there is also no uh, no uh, risk of, of impermanent loss. And yeah, of course, it's a very popular pool. This is why the rewards are, uh, are quite low at the moment. Uh, what do you need to take into account uh, for these uh, strategies? Uh, for the ICX pool, um, take into account it's not a traditional LP pool, so there is no permanent loss like I just said. Um, but as long as you are also supplying the ICX, and also take into account you're not getting uh, staking rewards. Uh, you need to take into account that the rewards you're getting in bound should outweigh uh, the staking rewards that you would normally be getting. Um, also take note, of course, eventually your ICX will, will be swapped to SICX, um, which will then end the bound uh, rewards, and you will need to uh, unstake and repeat the process to continue earning bound. Now, um, I think this is this covers uh, the liquidity pools on uh, on Balm, and then the third strategy on Balm is just uh, staking your Balm, um, and also doing uh, uh, liquidity providing. Of course, also both uh, strategies get you uh, platform fees. Now uh, this will also be be changing. Uh, it has been uh, voted uh, upon. Uh, and we will soon be getting, uh, there is no fixed date yet, uh, the team is working on implementing it, but we will be getting the, the boosted BALN, um, the B BALN, which is a concept uh, which has proven uh, to be interesting by Curve Finance. Um, and, and this is staking your uh, and locking your BALN for a longer time to get higher platform fees. So the max will be uh, four years uh, fixed, and then you will get the highest uh, possible fees. Um, and the lowest is one week, I believe. Um, and those also uh, continue declining every day. So if you want the max rewards, you have to keep restaking, and you will be resetting uh, the counter again every time you restake. So those are the, the balanced strategies. Now um, let's move on to the, the ohm strategies. 
For Ohm, uh, the, simple, the most simple strategies are supplying assets. Uh, we have three assets at the moment, um, ICX, uh, IUSDC, and USDS. Um, you will earn both interest and you will own, earn OM rewards. Um, so one of the possible strategies which many people are doing is uh, the OM mining optimization strategy, which uh, you do is you balance your lend versus, versus your borrow interest. Um, so you do not you're, in this case, you're not interested in uh, gaining uh, more of the uh, the asset uh, that you're supplying and borrowing uh, by by gaining a positive interest. Uh, you just balance your uh, supply interest versus your borrow interest to have a break-even point, and you're just purely mining the OM rewards. Um, this strategy also, because uh, every time you borrow, you can uh, resupply, uh, and this, for instance, can give up to 4x leverage on your supply. And of course, also your own rewards. Then um, another interesting strategy that we have at the moment is uh, looking, and this you can see here, uh, you can switch here, to uh, rewards inclusive or uh, exclusive OM token. Um, as you can see, uh, there, if you include the OM token, you can see on the borrow side quite low uh, amounts. Um, so if you uh, supply back uh, for your, your, your borrowed amount, um, you will be uh, getting, um, which is the, the the borrowing APY inclusive own rewards. Um, so if you if you look, uh, for example, the IUSDC, if you include the own rewards on the borrow side, you have uh, nearly uh, a zero percent. Now, if you supply it back to the supply side, and again you get on top uh, additional own rewards and you you come you become even positive um so this is a, a very interesting one as well uh, to take a look and then the third strategy on uh, home is of course the staking um staking rewards um, and here you see for the lps uh, which you'd have to do on uh, balanced, uh, you see the APYs, uh, and again, this is the same topic as on balanced. Um, those with the highest rewards or those with the highest risk of impermanent loss. Uh, and again, these are uh, <coughs> volatile assets, more volatile assets versus a stable coin. Then um, another uh, strategy which might be interesting is uh, swapping BNUSD um, to from balanced on to IUSDC and supply it on OM for interest. Um, I think we have some per a person on the background with his microphone on. Oh, okay, that always Just causing some static. I, I believe it's, it's it's over now. Let's uh, let's continue. Yeah. So um, those are the, the strategies um, which we uh, which we have covered on on balanced and, and on OM. Um, yeah, we have seen, uh, like uh, Arosh said, uh, it, it's no longer the the, the very high uh, APYs uh, from from the beginning, uh, but it's uh, relative to other platforms. It's uh, they are still uh, quite high. Um, and, and I think Arush has prepared a comparison uh, at the end of our uh, uh, at the end of our tutorial to to compare and see how uh, the current uh, Icon uh, platforms compare to the yeah the the, the the other ones in the in this space. Now um, let's also take a look uh, at Optimus. Um, what we know from uh, Optimus and, uh, and its uh, fin token is that initially um, there will be just two strategies and these will be low risk strategies 
but more will follow. So the, the first release version will only include balanced strategies. Um, at this time, the fin distribution will not happen until uh, the second version release of the mainnet, which will then also include uh, ohm strategies. Between the first and the second release, no fin will be uh, accrued. So uh, both the, the fin accruing and distribution will only happen as from uh, the version 2 of the mainnet, which is at the same time as the first ohm strategies will be released. Now, which those ohm strategies will be, um, those are not known yet. Let's assume this, this will also be the, the low-risk ones, uh, which is uh, supplying um, and, uh, and not yet the, the, the LPs. Uh, this, those will probably follow in, a, in, in the next phase. And what we, what we also learned from, uh, from the people from Optimus is that indeed they want to take it step by step, uh, start with the, the least risky strategies so people get to know uh, the platform. And then, uh, in a in a, in the next uh, phase, uh, more risky strategies will follow, like uh, providing liquidity. But of course, um, people need to be aware that uh, Optimus they can manage your positions, uh, but they cannot prevent the permanent loss. And permanent loss is something that that occurs. Uh, which is an, an, an inherent risk of liquidity providing, and this is not something that you can uh, that you can prevent. They can prevent uh, you from being liquidated by managing your positions well, and that's something completely different. But impairment loss is always a consequence uh, which comes from uh, the market, how the the token tokens are doing uh, price wise versus each other in the pair. Um, and of course, the gradual approach uh, that they are uh, that they are taking, not not providing uh, the, the high risk strategies, is uh, because they know, of course, that uh, we have we have a very enthusiastic uh, crowd in our Arkham community, and uh, people like to ape into uh, the new platforms. But uh, it's very important to to understand all the risks uh, before you you do it, and even an aggregator cannot negate uh, some risks. So, um, what we're looking at at the screen is, is the fin token uh, economics. Um, just uh, so you know, here you see the percentages of how the distribution will will happen: 35% to the DAO fund, 15% uh, insurance, and 30% uh, will be going to the depositors and the liquidity providers, uh, and 20% for the the team. Um, for the inflation, um, yeah, to uh, the fin token from Optimus will have a, a much lower supply than what you're used to from uh, the other platforms, um, and uh, it will decrease as from the thirty-first day, uh, with zero point five percent every day until two hundred and fifty is uh, eventually uh, reached perpetually uh, daily. So, I made a tweet about it uh, to visualize. Uh, the supply uh, compared to the other platforms. Uh, keep in mind, of course, uh, this is um, from starting date of each platform. Uh, so it's after one month, for example, that this specific platform launched. And so the, the supplies, of course, the circulating supplies are different because other platforms have started earlier than, than the others. Um, the fin uh, one seems to be quite final and they, they just recently made some adjustments i saw uh, this is the update of it uh, for equality uh, we know they are still looking at the tokenomics uh, at the moment they uh, in, in in one of the early white papers uh, they got it uh, they copied more or less the, the balanced one um, but i know that they are looking into it and this is uh, still subject to change uh, but this is uh, this paints already a good picture on uh, on, on what to uh, to expect. Um, let me see. Then uh, today also uh, the craft CFT token launched. As what you can see here, there is no percentage uh, yet. I don't know whether there will be one. I don't think so. If it's not both uh, balanced native uh, 
tokens like you see here and the ohm is also not reflected here they're reflected on their own platform uh, they also work craft also works with um, as as does ohm with lp tokens which need to be staked on their own platform uh, as well so don't forget to do that if you are providing liquidity to stake your LP token, because otherwise you will not be uh, eligible for the rewards. Um, rewards are accrued uh, on a weekly basis, um, and or they are accrued uh, daily, but they are paid weekly. Um, what do we know uh, about the tokenomics of, of CFT? Um, we know that there is 40% uh, of the supply is, is meant for uh, the marketplace liquidity, uh, which is sellers and buyers on, on the platform. 10% is used for LP uh, staking rewards. And 20% is used for the DAO fund and 30% is for the team. Um, what is the token itself uh, used for? Um, so there will be uh, a fee share of the platform fees. And there is a loyalty program with five tiers, which uh, gives uh, sales boosters, uh, exclusive discounts, early access to NFT drops, uh, priority customer uh, service. And um, there's also talk of, of, of CD burn use cases uh, to become uh, a deflationary token. For example, uh, creating a launchpad, which will give you allocation reservation in uh, in, uh, in, in, in CF, uh, CFT. Uh, you will need CFT to get an allocation res reservation for uh, a, new, uh, yeah, a new NFT project launching, for example. So um, this is uh, the topics that I wanted to touch on today. So I'll, I'll give back the word to uh, to Arush. Um. Yeah, hi. Uh, yes, let me just uh, share my screen. Maybe you can uh, stop sharing. Stop sharing mine. Yeah. I just share my screen. All right. Just, uh, so uh, yeah, so I just wanted to just compare, um, just to uh, give you guys just a bit of an idea. I wanted to compare um, uh, uh, money market protocols in different different ecosystems, just the main ones. So I just wanted to cover Ethereum. A um, couple of protocols, uh, Binance Smart Chain and and uh, Solana. There is um, uh, Luna or Terra has Anchor, which has a fixed. Uh, it's a different um, uh, model altogether, but uh, Anchor is a, is a fixed uh, APY, uh, which is roughly around nineteen point five to twenty percent. So uh, it just hovers around there, uh, but. As you can see right now, I've just clicked, uh, just uh, shown with the OM rates because uh, because you want to get your OM rewards. So it's average, average is about six point five nine percent, and then um, um, obviously stably and 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 uh, IUSDC is in double digits. Um, if I, if I go similar platform like you know Aave, uh, you know you you can see it simulates like it's it's. It's it's much low actually. Um, it's in two point. Uh, you get twelve percent. Uh, the only difference, guys, is you know obviously as a protocol matures, there's more assets added on, and when there's more assets added on, you'll get a few assets uh, with low liquidity or which has a high utilization rate. Uh, and when there's a high utilization rate, uh, the rates go up. Uh, and when the rates go up, the borrow rates uh, when they go up as well, uh, it prevents. It incentivizes people to close their borrowings and lend. So it's it's a it's a defense mechanism by the protocol itself uh, to ensure that that it never goes over leveraged. Uh, it's just a safety mechanism. So um, uh, own finance as well. You know when there's more assets added on, and you can really see. I mean, 
uh, compound, for example, uh, you can see the APYs are really, really, you know, 0.47%, 0.91%. Uh, it's really, really low. And then, you, I mean, you get Heather at 9.15%. So um, you need to compare like with like. So the APY is a money market protocol as the mature comes down. Um, and, and obviously the, the distribution of uh, OM rewards uh, came down by uh, by a considerable margin uh, after uh, day 30. And naturally you're going to see uh, the APYs drop. So it was expected uh, APYs uh, dropping. So I don't think it's 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 too much to get alarmed up uh, alarmed by. Uh, just it's normal for money market protocols. So the things that I'm really excited about is you know when BTP comes on board and when there's assets from different uh, chains added on. Uh, it'll be really exciting to see different people from different protocols coming in using the platform cross chain liquidity. Uh, it's really exciting uh, to see that kind of uh, things you, you've seen, you know, see sushi maximizing, you know, on, on I, I think they are they are, in terms of uh, a DeFi protocol. I think they have the most uh, chains they are on at the moment and they're really maximizing uh, users, really maximize has, has a lot of liquidity uh, where they can grow uh, you know, cross chain and, and get so many, so many options. Um, uh, for some reason, Venus is not is not loading up. Uh, that's a Binance Smart Chain protocol, uh, money market protocol. Um, so the APYs of Port Finance, which is on Solana, uh, you know, again you get you know four point six six percent, point one three, two point zero five. So it's when a lot of people, you know, when I see on the general chat, people saying, it's, you know, the rates are terrible. Uh, but this is a money market protocol and you need to compare like with like and you need to know what you're investing into, uh, what type of product portfo- uh, profile it falls under. So uh, it's really not something that we need to get alarmed about, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, as, as we get more assets, uh, you will see some assets, you know, uh, jumping up on the on the supply side APYs and the borrow side APY. So uh, there's 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 quite a bit that we can we can do once there's more assets on. Uh, that's basically what I wanted to cover uh, on that. Um, do, do you guys have any any questions that we need to we you guys want to want us to cover specifically? Me. Yeah, you can check. You can message in the Monks Academy or uh, send a DM to to myself and a rush. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Hi. Um, Icon will be uh, joined to other blockchains, just like uh, the way Cosmos uh, does it. But mm-hmm. my question is: Is it possible uh, to use OMM? Um, Oh, OM to connect to other blockchains and to yield farm. How how do you see that uh, connect OM? You mean some assets from from OM or some assets from other platforms on OM? Assets from other blockchains on yeah. the OM platform. Yeah, at the moment not, but as soon as BTP is live, um, then uh, those assets can be added to OM, um, indeed. But what you need to, and, and both for balanced as well, um, what you need to take into account, of course, uh, for OM is when you have uh, an asset to, to supply, there needs to be sufficient interest on the borrow side. Uh, if there is no interest on the borrow side, on ohm then you will not be getting very high um, supply rewards um, so initially uh, don't get too excited uh, when when btp is live and and uh, some 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 assets are, or new assets have have been added uh, it it might take some time uh, before there is some uh, some buy si- some borrow uh, side uh, effects um, yes. but uh, those those are possibilities of course um, and and for on the other side on on balanced for example uh, it is the plan of scott to create uh, to make bnusd one of the most versatile crypto asset backed um, stablecoins 
Um, so not only use uh, uh, ICX as a, as a collateral, uh, but there will always be a limit eh, because Scott wants ICX to be the majority and um, also taking on uh, other uh, assets, of course, uh, is also a risk. Eh? We know we know the stability of, of, of ICON uh, better than those of other platforms. So there will always be a, a cap on how much uh, a certain asset can represent in the as collateral for, for BNUSD. Okay, thank you for your answer. Yeah. I have yeah. another question. Yeah. I saw a new project, Optimus. Um, yeah. Do you already have plans what you are going to do with uh, uh, the collaboration with Optimus? Well, um, Optimus uh, will start with, uh, I don't know whether you joined uh, the, the, the call late, uh, but Optimus, we, we briefly talked about it, uh, Optimus will start with two strategies and th the first two will be balanced strategies, uh, lend, uh, borrowing and, um, uh, what was it, the second? Uh, borrow and... Yeah, uh, ICX, yeah, the yeah. ICX, yeah, the ICX pool. Um, the, the, yes. Those, those are the, the two least risk, uh, risky, risky strategies. Um, and uh, as from the second uh, uh, really mainnet release, um, OM, OM uh, strategies will be uh, will be launched as well. Uh, which ones those will be uh, are not clear yet. Um, again, they will probably do the same strategy, which is uh, support. Uh, doing the, the the least risky ones, which is uh, supplying, uh, and uh, doing the LP pairs, uh, both for balanced and, and ohm on a, on a later stage, when people have gotten to know the the platform. And, and okay. this is your point. You. Sorry, yeah. sorry, Jose. Go. Ahead. No, I, I don't have the, a question. That was all. Okay. No, just like the and, and what what was. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. What, what the people from Optimus said they they want to to grow together with uh, with Ohm and and, and balanced. Um, so everything that is deposited in Ohm, of course, will flow back uh, in in Optimus will flow back into uh, balanced and, and and Ohm platforms. And they've also taken the approach of not selling the governance tokens. Um, swapping them to ICX or to a stablecoin, they will not do that. They will give the users of Optimus uh, the the governance tokens uh, themselves. Um, so as a user of, of, of Optimus, you will be able to choose whether you want to keep uh, the governance tokens or whether you want to sell them for another asset. Yeah, and just to add, uh, I think, uh, just to add uh, to what, I think, was it Jerusalem? Uh, have, you got my, have you got your name correct? Uh, basically, it's just to, uh, yes, to, your, to your point on what assets uh, will be added on, on Ohm. Uh, firstly, I, I think uh, it all depends on what the community wants. So I think any asset that will be added on will be uh, through a, a governance proposal. So if, uh, but I, I think the early contributors did hint that they want uh, assets uh, from different protocols that you know aren't that liquid. So maybe something from near, like you know maybe 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 assets that you know aren't you know that popular at the moment. Uh, so they, they want some, some kind of assets like that starting off with. That is the plan, I think. Yeah, yeah. The strategy, like like Arush uh, is, is 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 telling, is to uh, to try to attract the ones that do not have a native DeFi on their own, uh, yeah. because this is those are the people that have the biggest uh, benefit of of joining uh, our ecosystem and using our products, uh, because they do not have them on their own native uh, protocols. So this is, uh, I think, a very good strategy uh, to, to get uh, traction uh, up and, and, and also, of course, get uh, the borrow side uh, interest uh, going. It will be a win-win situation. For, so for both teams, it will be good. Yeah, indeed. It will be a lot harder, for example, to getting uh, someone um, from, from the, the Binance ecosystem uh, because they already uh, have uh, several uh, uh, good platforms, mm -hmm. options. Yeah. Yes. It doesn't mean, of course, if, if, we, if we are able to provide higher APYs uh, on our platforms that, uh, that it's not interesting. Eh? But uh, I think yeah, it's much easier 
strategy that they that they intend to do is is probably uh, the the low hanging fruit uh, strategy. Yeah, yeah. It'll be really interesting to see how how everything pans out. Uh, what with uh, when BTP launches and and what kind of assets. Uh, maybe obviously balanced will will probably start off and then i think ohm will follow suit with with the assets probably i think maybe that's the way they go about it uh, yeah Hello. hi uh, hi uh, i got to the call a little late did you guys already cover craft token and what might be going on with that now that it's going live Yes, we did. We did. We did cover it. But is there anything specific you wanted? You wanted? Uh, you were looking out for? Uh, just is it going to be added on to the home eventually, or? Um, it all depends on uh, if the community wants it. Uh, I think they will. I mean, if if there's a governance proposal and they they vote for it, it'll be it'll be on. So it all depends on what what the community wants. Yeah. So the, the, again, uh, the, there is no. There is no real uh, plan to do it yet, uh, but we have seen just recently, uh, I think yesterday, uh, it was shared that uh, they are very close to launching the, the OM governance. Um, so we will soon have uh, a voting option and a forum to uh, to launch proposals as, as we have seen uh, for, for Balanced. So uh, if this is something that you're interested in, um, any community member can launch a proposal um, it can be discussed, and uh, after uh, there is plenty of, of, of people interested in it, then uh, a proposal will be launched, and uh, the home holders will be able to vote uh, on it. So it's uh, as simple as that. That's uh, the power of uh, of the DAO. Yeah, I'm involved in a few DAOs, so I kind of know how it goes. I'm also a member of the Daoist server, so I'm learning there about DAOs a little bit too. So. Awesome. A good learning experience, that's for sure. Awesome. How do you how do you get exposed to uh, Ohm and Icon? Um, I just uh, did my own research. I'm self-taught. I got into crypto last year around July and did a lot of late night reading. Oh, and okay. ICX and XRP are the two that I come up with that I really am full blown after. I spread the word a lot. I've brought a lot of people. I've talked to what how you say Arush Arush. Yeah, uh, Arush. Yeah. I've talked to yeah, I've talked to you a few different times about it. I I am a big recruiter here. Oh, awesome. Huge recruiter. <laughs> I brought on uh, a Riddler over, and I got a guy I'm collaborating with on that logo because I'm not an artist myself, but this guy is really good, so I got him working on something. I, he might have oh, already submitted okay. a Shad, Shad name on Twitter, Shad. Okay, so, so sorry, my, my, my screen, I, I, I can't really see who's... Who's talking for some moment? That's why. I, that's why I can recognize you. Sorry. <laughs> it's not, no problem. It's flurry day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how's everything going? How's uh, uh, hopefully we get more people for the contest. Uh, I think. It's yeah. I've, on the eighth. I've been putting it on other servers. I've been putting the tw the tw tweet down on other servers that I'm on. I'm a mod on a couple other servers and. Awesome. I'm spreading it around, trying to get trying to get the word out, and people Thanks, are man. everybody I've brought over. Everybody I brought over is loving it, and so they're spreading the word out to everybody too. Thanks, love, man. Thanks and, for your support, and thanks, love, for your uh, you know communication on the on the general chat and 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 helping out. Yeah, and if you guys ever want to talk with other people and other projects, I'm uh, I've talked with the people, the developer and the founder of Flare Finance and Delvin. He's I'm trying to get him to come check out home himself. So. Yeah, actually, we're, we're looking for, for contributors as well uh, for the Monks Academy. Uh, we'll be releasing more information once the contest is over. So uh, it won't be a monk uh, position, but it will be an opportunity to start, you know, working with you know, like-minded people and getting exposed to a DAO. Yeah. Yeah. This is part of our plan to also research all the... The, the DeFi possibilities that uh, the the BTP partner networks um, have in store, and then the, the cross chain uh, opportunities and strategies that uh, those are the plans that we want to do and, and want to explore with uh, with the Monks Academy, and we're always looking for uh, for people to help us do the research. 
Um, so if, if if someone, for example, um, knows uh, the, the 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 near uh, protocol uh, ecosystem well, uh, just uh, reach out to us if you want to uh, to share your uh, your research and your knowledge. Or the the Polka dot Kusama ecosystem, um, same uh, about yeah, kind of every, everything that's connected. Yeah, I see. I'm like Flair, Flair and Songbird. Songbird just launched the 27th, and that's a lot like Kusama and Polka dot. Songbird's the canary chain for Flair. I'm really well versed in that. All right, interesting. Interesting. And uh, what are the other? I was going to ask. Oh, the BTP. It's kind of like. Kusama. Time, but it's actually better, right? Because anything that's on the BTP, any chain that's on BTP can cross chain with any other chain. It doesn't just connect with just one, correct? Correct. Yeah. 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 Indeed. Yeah. It's uh, how, how I like to compare it is uh, people talk about uh, Kusama and and, and Polkadot as a layer zero uh, protocol. Well, uh, how I see it, I can will be the layer zero interoperability protocol because it, it's more or less the same. Um, Everything that's connected uh, through BTP via the Icon Hub, uh, yeah, it works more or less the same as 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 as, uh, as uh, yeah, the layer zeros of of, of Polkadot and, and Kusama, uh, who connect all the different parachains. Yeah, that's the way I understood it too. It's gonna it's gonna be amazing times when it happens. But the difference is also that with Icon, uh, it of course is is, is a layer one. Uh, in fact, and, and and it also allows smart contracts, uh, and it also allows being uh, protocols building directly on top of it. Uh, even though maybe in in the future uh, people will, will will be more guided uh, to build on top of ICE uh, for the applications rather than on on Icon itself. But uh, the yeah, ones I that yeah, that that that, that do, do choose. Um, I think Scott explained it in in one of uh, an, of, of his interviews uh, uh, recently uh, quite well. What the benefit is of of building on top of Icon uh, itself. Yeah, yeah. Ice is the way. Ice is the way that they're, you're going to access smart contracts, correct, through the EVM EVM machine. The EVM. Yeah, it's, it's, EV, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's EVM and EVOSM as well. So uh, yeah, so when E 2.0 launches. Uh, I think uh, you know uh, ICE will be will be pretty ahead of the game because with EWASM we're we're one step ahead uh, over other 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 networks. Yeah, and the good thing is that that ICX is still used as a, as the governance token for ICE, so uh, there is a, a big uh, yep. benefit for uh, ICX holders of uh, of ICE doing well. Yeah. The whole ecosystem's doing gonna do real well, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. it is. I think it's interesting times uh, ahead. Um, yeah, I think. Uh, any other questions, guys? Uh, or uh, maybe Donny or Donny's a constant contributor to our to our channel as well. I I, I think Donny's Donny wanted uh, uh, a yield farming strategy session. I think. I think if I remember correctly. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Hey, man. How's it going? Not bad. I'm, I'm at work right now, specifically. That's what I was doing. Um, that's why I only heard all that static. I just wanted to say what's up and thank you for doing this. Um, it's awesome you guys are doing this. Hopefully, it grows. Uh, again, to say thank you. And yeah, so I'm gonna go on. No worries, man. Sorry, so sorry to put you on the spot. What's up? Sorry. Hope to... you guys are doing good. All right, take care, man. <laughs> All right, guys, if there's uh, no other questions, uh, we will wrap it up. Uh, I just want to remind everyone to, uh, uh, to, to participate in the, in the, in the uh, design contest. Uh, you know, being a, being old monk is a, is a, is a great opportunity to, to, to work for a DAO. Um, you know, it's, it's great exposure and, and, and more than that, it just puts you, uh, in, in the new world of, of working and, and a decentralized uh, environment. So I highly recommend you guys to 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 take part in the contest. Uh, and also, as I mentioned earlier, we will be uh, we're looking out for for contributors for the channel. You know, we want to uh, you know get the Ohm community aware of of uh, protocols, projects in other pro in other in other networks. Really bring uh, you know maybe uh, 
potential airdrops from other networks uh you know uh kind of we may be looking at uh chartists uh people who are trading uh maybe bring that kind of uh angle also when we're covering uh uh protocols so we, we're looking at a few angles and we're looking for contributors to really grow the channel and to to bring valuable content to the own community so that's something that we're looking forward to uh in the meantime if there's any other content that 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 you want us to cover just, just drop a message on the monks academy and uh we will start covering it i think uh, we, we really got this year farming session going because i think donny and a few others really want a year farming uh strategy session so so uh we got that going so what do you guys want uh you know our, our our objective is to you know make learning uh easier for you guys on DeFi, and and that's the objective of the channel so uh yeah that's that's what i wanted to say and thanks a lot guys for uh coming in and uh sharing your thoughts and listening in thanks a lot steven for for the contribution All right, guys, uh, take care then.